In this short video, I will demonstrate the reasons why circular references might happen in project planning, and especially in the project planner Excel template, why the circular reference messages may have appear and how to avoid and overcome them. So now I have the Excel template open and you can see that I have the task sheet open which is where you would input data on the list of tasks that you have. And in this simple example we have two tasks we have belonging to the same project and it's assigned to the same resource and we have certain number of hours required of each task. We're going to talk about a few different scenarios where the circular reference error might happen. And I'm going to start with a really basic example where a task is dependent on itself. For example, task one is dependent on itself. And you get this error message, which is what the circular F reference error message is. And I'm going to hit OK. And you will notice that at the bottom status bar, the circular references are still are present in this workbook, which means that it's very important that we resolve the circular reference error. As long as the circular reference um, continues to be present, then the calculations might be incorrect. So it's very important that we don't have any circular reference. So in this scenario, we are saying task one depends on task one, which means task one cannot start until task one is complete, which clearly is a very, very difficult problem to solve. So it is very important that we remove this circular reference and now the status bar will not have a circular reference. So a task cannot depend on itself. The other scenario is when you have two tasks where they are, they are interdependent on each other. For example, task two is dependent on one and task one is dependent on two. This also creates a circular reference. So in this scenario, we can just remove that dependency there. Now task two will begin only after task one is complete that is not a problem. There is no circular reference error here. We can go to the task schedule here to see that the task two will begin only after task one is complete. That is not a problem. So make sure that the tasks are not interdependent on each other. That will create a circular reference. The other scenario where circular reference might be happening is when your task priority conflicts with your dependency. So Task priority is a column where you indicate which task is more important than the other and this is used by the template to prioritize. For example, task which is the highest priority will be assigned the work first or scheduled first and then the next priority project and then the next one. So the task priority is how the user can control which task gets done first. So this is a very important part of the input. And if you don't have any value entered here, that means that you're saying all the tasks are equally important, then the template will use the order in which you have entered the tasks here as the priority. In this case, task one appears first, task two appears next, which means the template will assume task one is more important than task two. So it's not a required field, but it is an important component that you can use as a project manager or a project planner to control this automatic scheduling that this template can provide. So I'm going to say, um, you know, task priority, this is priority one, this is priority two. That is not a problem. But let me say, for example, I want to give this as the number one priority and this as number two priority. Now you get the task, the circular reference message again. And the reason why this is happening is you are telling the template that the pro task one has to complete first, only then task two can begin. And you are telling that by inputting this predecessor ID one. So task one has to complete first. But when we go to the priority, we are saying that task two is more important than task one. And so this creates a conflict in the template and that is why the circular reference error is happening. So we can easily resolve this by saying, you know, this is task one is more important and now the circular reference will disappear. Please also keep in mind that if, for example, you don't have any task priority values, as I said, task one is assumed to be more important. But if you say something like this, you will also have a circular reference. And this is because you're saying task one can only start after task two is complete. 
but task two is entered second in this list and you don't have any task priority entered which means that there is a conflict of priority and predecessor. So this can easily be overcome by telling the template that the task two is actually more important. So put that as number one. Task one is second priority and now the circular reference disappears. And again, the priority and the dependency that you set should not conflict with each other. And if it does, then you get the circular reference error. Please check the predecessors and also the task priority values to make sure that they are not conflicting and that will avoid the circular reference scenarios. I've used a single project to demonstrate these error messages in this video, but please remember that this is true even if you have multiple projects, the circular reference error will happen if you have a conflict of priority and predecessor across multiple projects too. So please keep that in mind and if you want to know the priority that is used by the template to schedule it, you can see that in the last column overall priority. Please don't edit that calculation but this tells you the order in which the tasks are prioritized. The lower value indicates higher priority. In this case 10,001 is the second task that is higher priority than 10,002. And again, you don't need to edit any of that or you don't need to modify that, but that is how the template functions to automatically schedule all the tasks for you and save a lot of time and build out all these schedules at a daily level for each task across all projects automatically. So if you have any questions about this circular reference in the project planning, please um, leave me a comment and I'll definitely get back to you. And thank you very much for watching the video.